evening. My name is John Johnson, JJ. Okay, this is going to be a real Ninja Geek video, and I'm just going to kind of sit here and talk, and I'm going to bore you to death with some Ninja Geek uh, chit-chat. Now, what this is about, if you by the title, N Deep Ninja Secrets, okay? So, if do you really want to become the master ninja, do you want to do do you really want to learn everything that someone like Kawakami or Masaki Hatsumi, down to, uh, you know, Greg Park, you know, magic, you know, ninja magic, okay? Not Kuji Kiri uh, and all the rest of that. Not just that, but like spells, you know? Uh, in my previous, in, in one of my mo most recent uh, previous videos, I did a ninja magic hiding magic okay ninjas would shinobi would shinobi ninjas same thing right but ninjas um would take arrows from a bow and arrow they would take arrows set them up take eight of them set them up in a circle put a mirror in the middle chant a bunch of stuff do some ritual thing and then they would take and it would the spell would help them hide they would become invisible to the enemy's eyes while sneaking around you know to me it all is about up here, the mindset, you know, being completely certain and sure and, and just, um, not a self-esteem, but self-assurance. Like, you have so much positivity and, and, like, what do you call it, uh, you're just, you're, you're a self-assertive, you know, you, you, you know that when you are going to go and climb this building, you have this spell of silence keeping you. You, 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 you did this thing, you've been dwelling on it for like a month now. You, 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 you had this, you cut up this animal, spilt this blood, said this fucking and, and now you are protected and you've just, you've dwelled on that for like a month. So you're completely mentally prepared. That's what the magic is to me, okay? It, it all has to do with up here. I've mentioned that a few times now. But I really want to dwell on that and, and push that. That that's all it is. Is is, is they're preparing their mind with all this magic and, and Shintoism and re because it's it's not just magic. It's it's religious. It's religion. You know, it's just like someone going into battle and saying, you know, I got God on my side. You know, it's just I got my religion on my side. I'm backed up by my religion, so I'm so positive and, and, and sure of myself and what I'm doing right now in this very moment. You know. Again, to me, the Kuji Kiri, like right now, on a cold night, I can see my breath. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of cold right now. And uh, a lot of people, they do this. They sit here and they rub their hands together. And they, they like, they want to keep moving, right? Well, that's what Kuji Kiri does when you're sitting on top of a rooftop, waiting, watching people, spying, and it's cold as heck. And you're like hugging your Donohi body warmer like it's a baby that's when your kuji kiri comes into play you chant some mantras in your mind keeping your mind calm and focused on what you're doing not on the cold and then you do some finger movements keeping your hands and your fingers all warmed up and nimble and ready to climb and go you know you don't let your hands just sit there and get cold and then when you go to climb they're all like Ugh! and you can't even feel anything so to me magic in the religion, the Shintoism, all that kind of stuff, it, it has, there's reasons that they bring it into their practices, okay, and their, and, and, and their practical application, how they physically go out and, and execute their spying, their infiltrating, their setting fires, whatever it is that their task at hand, you know. Now that I've, I've, I've explained my take on the magic and what that does and its role and part it plays, do you really believe it? Would you actually use that? So let's just say you are going to go sneaking about. Are you going to go on a full moon and, and, or, or hair from a dead lady? Which, first of all, see, this is where it comes into play. Do I believe that some dead lady's hair is going to keep me from being seen? I don't believe that's going to work out for me, guys. I'm sorry. I just, you know, it's, it's not a... Uh, if your mindset is there though, if you're like, you know what, you really truly believe and you have faith in that, 
yes, I think that it's going to help you remain unseen. You're going to be so sure and certain, and you're going to be so cautious and thoughtful of what you're doing to make sure that you're not seen. And that is always there reminding you of that factor of, of while you're busy thinking about everything else, writing down all your notes while you're spying and stuff, you always have that hair on you, on you and it's always in the back of your mind reminding you, don't be seen. Get the hell out of sight as soon as you're done here. Quick, go hide while you're done doing this. Okay, this is the best and easiest way out that I'm not going to be seen. No one's around in this corner of the town. I'll escape that way. This is the kind of stuff that it does to you up here. Again, this is why I keep saying it's all up here. I keep pointing to my mind and saying it's all up here with this magic and stuff like that. And that's what it comes to, is up here. That's the highest level of ninjutsu. It's not the physical skills, not physical fitness, not climbing ability, not all the fire recipes and all the chemistry you could possibly know. Well, you see, that's where it does matter. Chemistry you possibly know, it's all up here your knowledge, how you apply the knowledge. And whether or not, there's a, there's something that Natori talked about and I really appreciated in the Shoninki. And he talks about reason over cleverness, cleverness and reason, right? You know, you can be as clever as you want. You can know how, you can be the cleverest, wittiest, most, you can create the coolest, most hidden, coolest ninja tools or whatever. But if you're not, executing a task with reason all the cleverness is thrown out the window so now you take all this esoteric thinking you know about okay how am i uh, you, you this mindset of not being seen with magic and stuff like that it's like nowadays you know what i don't need that i can just do that to myself in a whole different way you know um just mental preparation i can mental prep myself in a whole different way i don't need that ancient method anymore so do i need that deep secret of a ninja no i don't know to answer the question of do you really want to like learn all the deep ninja secrets out there are they that deep and are they that secret can i use them exactly you know and it comes down to that it's like some people really do like to learn about that stuff i do you know i just like it's, it's interesting but am i going to use it is it applicable can i it, What's it do for me, you know? Not too much. How to use carry powder, how to silence my footsteps, all the physical stuff. If you notice, that's what I bring to life in my videos as well. I, I, I focus and I, I go after bringing to life any of the tools, because nowadays you can find a tool that's exactly like it, used for the same purpose, just better. In other words, battery power, okay? Something like that. But basically, you know, it everything that I learn from the scrolls I can take and put it to today with modern materials except one thing uh, all the like magic all, all, all the spells all the magic all the kujukiri you know maybe some of the medical stuff like uh, some of their medicine recipes I have modern antibiotics and things like that you know uh, Instead of wrapping my cut with my uh, face mask, I have like, you know, a, a modern gauze or bandages that I might have in a first aid kit as compared to my little bone or bamboo in roll that I would have hanging from my sash, you know. Nowadays, I'm probably going to have like a backpack with a first aid kit, you know. That's the stuff that people hold secret nowadays, especially anyways, when we're talking about when we have someone that comes up and they have information from a scroll, whoever they are, they're always reluctant to give it away. They're always reluctant to give these details, how to use this tool back in the day. And it's like, you know, I have, for instance, the climbing hook, you know, uh, I've, there's a more than a few people that had these details that no one else knew about how to use a climbing hook. And their plane is like, I know something you don't know. I know something you don't know. I know something you don't know. Ha ha. Ugh. Tell me now. You know, like it's it's not that big of a secret anymore, guys. It's 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 old stuff. It, it becomes secret to me because everyone else treats it secret to me, and I'm like, well, damn, it is kind of secret. Whereas all the other stuff about that I've discussed before, all the mind stuff, they're like, 
Who cares? They discuss it openly, like, you know, why? What's the difference? It's, I don't, I can't even use it. The same thing I think, and I just said a bunch of times in this video. It's like, I can't use it, so who cares? Yeah, dude, they did this, they did that, they cut this animal open, they spilled that blood. Have fun. Go ahead and try it, dude. <laughs> it's like, because they know that you're not going to go do that shit. Um, not only that, know this, guys. Because I'm focused on bringing all the physical stuff I can out of the scrolls, right? Such as fire recipes, uh, stuff like that. You know, even uh, some of these spells I am going to be bringing to life, but it's like I'm not going to actually do that. In other words, I don't believe it. what I'm doing is working, you know. Who knows, one day I'll disappear on a lunar eclipse my, in front of my brother, right? It's kind of nasty. Some of the stuff that ninjas dealt with is nasty. I was just talking with someone uh, about this before, and I noted that it's, you know... All of a sudden, you're dealing with arsenic and uh, derivatives of mercury, you know, which is poisonous. Both of those things are, are like metallic, mineral, minerally substances that are very, very toxic to humans. And ninjas were dealing with them daily. In one of them, in one of the medicine things that they actually put arsenic in a seashell and put it on their belly button and just let it sit. Arsenic is highly toxic, so basically they're probably more than likely accidentally poisoning themselves once in a while. Another factor, another, like, oh my god, I can't believe what I'd have to work with if I really wanted to go ninja, is uh, a form of lacquer. I just chased down lacquer, and sure enough, like, there's no other lacquer that I can find that existed other than pine lacquer, like, just pine sap. They would have covered things in pine sap, or this, uh... I forget the name, but it's basically, it's like a, a, a resin from a tree, or sap, resin or sap from a tree that is really itchy. It's basically like a, a, a cousin or kin to poison ivy or poison oak or something. So basically, this stuff would cause a rash, and it would be very itchy if you got it on your skin. So here you're dealing with something that can possibly give you a rash just to make a tool. Ugh. Um, let alone, like, let's, for example, the smoke signal. One of the deep secrets of the ninja fire recipes that no one likes to give out is the smoke signal, right? How to make the smoke signal. So you got a bunch of other flammable substance in dog poo. Or not dog, but wolf. Wolf dung, which is not the same as dog poo. Trust me, I know from experience. Don't ask. But nonetheless, yeah. So they would have burnt wolf poo to create this smoke signal, and they would have been smelling all this burnt wolf dung. That sounds pleasant, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to try that again. It's like, not, it's not for the average person, you know. Uh, now, that comes to the spells themselves. Like, you know, just Anthony, you know, yeah, dude, some of that stuff is kind of gross when you think about it. Like, I didn't even really read fully that one that he talked about where you actually have to cut off a dog's balls and... A dog over here. Um, it... In, in, in the vagina of the female dog while they're mating. You have to catch dogs while they're mating, cut their stuff off, bury it, do all this stuff. And again, back to the mind, you know, while they're doing this, they're saying all these chants and they're dwelling on what they're thinking about the, or the reason, you know. The reason is because they want a wish to come true, right? This is for making a wish. They cut the balls and the testicles in the vagina of dog, they bury it, they do all this stuff to it, right? They boil it, whatever. But it's all in, okay, I'm going to have this promise made, I'm going to have this promise made, my promise is going to be fulfilled, my promise is going to be fulfilled, I'm going to get what I want, I'm going to get what I want, self-assurance, self-assurance, all mental, you know, um, so, yeah, guys, but, but, but to me, again, it goes back to, I have my own methods of doing that, I don't need that esoteric way, you know, so do I need that deep secret, do I need it, am I going to use it, do I, so therefore, do I want it, no, I'm cool with the lower level stuff, guys, because that stuff I can use, I am interested in, it's true. Do we really want to spend years training in an art that is of no use? Gosh, <laughs> no, I don't. You know, I, I want to move on and keep learning about stuff that I can use, about stuff that is applicable, stuff that I do want to learn about, you know? In a conclusion to the whole thing, all in all, I don't mind being the dirty dog. I am a dog. I, I stick to the physical stuff. What can I? What? what how? How silently can I walk in leaves and inside past sleeping people? 
what tools can I use to get past this, past that? How can I hide here, there? Um, getting past squeaks and locks and stuff like that. The physical stuff. The stuff that I can tangibly take and use. Or um, transform into a modern sense for you know future projects or whatever. So yeah, there it is, guys. No, I um, I don't want those deep secrets. I'm rather content and fine with the lower level stuff that I find to be the best of the... To me, those are the deep ninja secrets. To me, the, the, the magic stuff isn't the deep secret anymore. To me, the unnamed stealth step is the secret 